Hello everybody, Zach here and welcome back to GTA 5. This is another mod showcase. Yesterday I did half of a mod showcase, but also too we went kind of crazy and we did kind of like a challenge. This is going to be more of a mod showcase of this aircraft. And um, this is the Boeing 747 Space Shuttle Carrier, clearly got a Space Shuttle mounted to it. Um, so this would actually be used to transport the uh, Space Shuttle from like uh, Edwards Air Force Base, um, for example, to the launch complex located at the Kennedy Space Center. Um, and again, get this out of the way, I'm not a flight simmer. I'm using GTA also too. GTA is not a flight simulation in any sense of the way, um, but I love showcasing these models and I love the amount of effort that uh, Skyline GTA or GTR Freak put into these models and uh, making these for bringing this over making these for GTA and everything so link will be in the description if you want to download this as well I highly recommend all of his models they all are pretty easy to install as well as the fact that they're all very very well done and work with all of the things that are built into GTA so I can't you know speak any higher of him um, his mods are always really good but anyways let's get out there and fly this thing and uh, maybe we'll do a round and then we'll we'll transport it to to Zancudo, um, but maybe do a longer, a little bit longer of a flight path than just going from here to Zancudo. All right, we're in the inside here, and it's right like the aircraft that I showed yesterday. If you haven't already seen it, um, when I showed Air Force One, it's uh, functional, it, and it, it, it's amazing that you actually have movement here, and uh, I can actually pull back, and uh, it's it's amazing. It really, really is. As well as on the exterior here, we have. Oh, it's even got the light on the. Uh, on the wing there that's lighting up NASA um, but these actually function too which I didn't realize you got the, the lights on the wings that actually function so I've got the lights down there and then that as well very very cool that all that works and it's all functional um, the light kind of goes off in a weird like it's weird I don't know if that's intentional or not because when I'm I don't know I don't know if that's intentional or not or that's the game doing something odd yeah because it's almost like it would be blocked by it, so it's going off. Anyways, anyways, we are going to fly this thing and, uh, yeah, get out there. Oh, it's so cool, though. So cool. And that's the spatial discovery, I believe, on top. This is a livery that you can also change it to the Endeavor. So let's go ahead and take off here. Using, yep, yeah, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. I wonder if this actually has any additional weight or anything to it. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to decipher if it has any, feels like it legitimately has any more weight than uh, Air Force One did yesterday. And that's the thing. I get it. That's uh, That was a ridiculous, rid oh, look at the city at night. That was a ridiculous uh, challenge that I attempted to do with meteors and everything. And if you like ridiculousness check that out if you want something a little bit more laid back as well as to a more of a mod showcase of the uh, a full mod showcase of the aircraft this is this is going to be more your speed no doubt <laughs> again dealing with that fully legitimate turbulence up here a look at that sky sky looks amazing as well as the city over here on our right that just looks awesome just looks fantastic it is really cool um i always as a kid uh liked watching um the space shuttles and liked watching all that stuff and like i said uh prior in prior videos as well as in this one i'm not a flight simmer but i, I really have an affinity for all of this um as well as two the community behind it the community that is behind it is uh seems to be a lot of well-rounded individuals that are really into uh, flight simulation um but yeah and to have these models in this game at least it adds one more layer of uh realism no doubt oh we got a plane going on oh, plane over there um but two the uh yeah the thing of like seeing the space shuttle talk about in my lifetime the icon of the icon of nasa was these space shuttles and i realized they are really old 
And that's one of the reasons why I believe that the space shuttle program was discontinued is because we re- there's got to be a better way kind of thing. Um, and a lot of it's gone private more recently where privatized companies are actually um, focusing on space flight and everything, right? Like SpaceX, um, which is Elon Musk's kind of um, baby currently, where we're going to hear shortly here, I believe, they're going to announce what their plans are for the first manned missions to Mars. Um, and I don't believe those are supposed to happen until... Okay, they're, they're a few years out, but we're going to hear the first details of, uh, of those potential manned missions, which is very cool. Um, it's always surprised me that NASA hasn't had the budget to do those kind of missions. And like we have, I guess there isn't much more to see on like the moon, for instance. Um, but that's a good example of like, well, why haven't we gone back to the moon yet? And here come the uh, comments that we never went to the moon and all that stuff. But I'm a, I'm a firm believer in the fact that we went to the moon. A firm believer in NASA and what it, ha- what the potentials of uh, space flight and discovering things off of our planet and uh, I believe it's really really important that we focus on those kind of things don't get me wrong we have our own problems on planet earth so what if we do find somewhere where it's where it's inhabitable or what have you does that solve any of the issues no but um yeah I believe that uh all that stuff is very important as well as the fact that like I said as a kid space shuttle to me was just iconic with um you know the potential for oh we could find different things we could find different things off this off this planet we actually had the um you know the one shuttle come back uh on impact or well it didn't impact anything but uh it disintegrated when it was coming back down and i remember i was was i in school i think i was in school when it happened and uh, even my dad talked about when he was younger the um one going up. I can't think of their names right now. You know, the Columbia disaster and the Challenger disaster. I always confuse the two of them in my head with which one happened when. Uh, but I think the Challenger was my lifetime. It's hard. It, uh, so Columbia, I, yeah, I believe exploded when it was going up. And then Challenger on the way back down because that damn panel uh, originally on takeoff blew off. And then, so yeah, like heat. It's a major issue going up as well as coming back down. Definitely coming back down with all that force against the bottom of the, like you can see, where the, the black in, the black area is on the space shuttle. There's a lot of force when going down, um, or when coming back down to Earth. So, very unfortunate that those things happened, uh, but considering... Oh, is it going to start raining? Oh, no. That's not good. <laughs> it's not good at all. We want to land here before it starts raining and really ruins our day. We're going to go... I'm trying to go wide here so I can come into Zancudo kind of legitimate. Um, I got a kind of proper heading, but, you know, hey, hey, let's see what happens. We want to land before this really starts re- thunderstorming. But it is what it is. If it does, that rain is coming in and visibility is already decreasing. And turbulence is already getting ridiculous. Fantastic. Let's... <laughs> this has turned into a challenge as well. Land the... Uh, land the... 747 with the space shuttle at Zancudo Challenge. <laughs> oh man. Beauty in first person though. Really, really beautiful. Great, great cockpit. But yeah, let's go ahead and try to. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of not legit stuff going on here. Can we high up enough here? Uh, I, I realized I was flying kind of low for a while there, but I'm focusing on talking, which is my own fault. All right, yeah, I feel like this is not too bad. I'm gonna land on the right, right, right runway here. There is only one runway, isn't there? Ah, besides the point. Make sure we've got enough. Uh, are we coming in low. I feel like we're coming in low, and man, the turbulence is fighting me too. That's the other problem. But yeah, I'm excited for what the future brings um, for space exploration, and if it's a private company, private companies that have to do it. So be it. Uh, I just hope that, you know, NASA still has the launch pads and they still have a lot of technology invested in a lot of uh, uh, aircraft or, or, you know, satellites and all that other stuff that are already out there. So, okay, we're going to be landing here. Are we high up enough? Oh, my gosh, this just doesn't feel right. Look how low we are. That should probably not be that low. I'm pulling up because I'm trying to do this legitimately. Come on, GTA physics. I'm pretty much have no engines in here. I know I would very probably. Oh gosh, here we go. Oh man, that's fully legit, right? 
fully legit, right? Well, we landed just in time because it's going to get bad out here. <sighs> I apologize if you are a flight simmer or if you are somebody that uh, really does um, enjoy this stuff and uh, wants to see this stuff more legitimately done. I recommend um, you check out uh, Jeff's channel because that will be the ultra realistic well as realistic as you're going to get in a game like this no doubt too that's the other thing that people have to take into consideration this is not a light sim whatsoever but it does what it does pretty well for what it is i'm also i realize i'm turning in here this is so tight these were never <laughs> never intended to be in here like this but that, i didn't feel like that was too bad i didn't feel like overall that was too bad um, and maybe, too, with something like Five Reborn, me and Jeff can get in and uh, do some flights and at least get more comfortable with attempting to do simulation-style flying inside of something like GTA. But uh, that was actually not bad at all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoy all the content I create. If you like this video and you like this mod showcase style, please go ahead and hit that like button as well as comment with any other type of mods that you would like to see that are already out there that are that are cool and exciting to you. Um, I'm trying to do uh, more of focusing on mod showcases and other stuff for LSPDFR, but also to mods like this that, that I really like and I can appreciate, even if, like I said, I'm not a flight simmer. So uh, until the next video, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye.